Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai to feed the lambs of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai as commanded. So um, today um, we got to just uh, be rolling in the spirit, you know. You know, uh, you know, as we 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 in that time where uh, we mustn't be slacking up, man. We gotta we gotta stay on fire, you know, and uh, exhort. Exhort uh, the hopeful elect, you know. Exhort one another, you know, with, through through daily daily exhortation, you know. So I'm I'm on my way to camp, and I want to use this time, you know, to uh, you know go into a, a couple of different topics, whatever the spirit allows. I will just speak on it, and um, you know, bring out. Uh, whatever scriptures I could get, you know, while I'm driving. So, uh, yeah, once again, you know, we in that time, man, you know, you know, a lot of things are going on, you know, people are still out here being wicked. I was watching the news this morning and saw, uh, uh, two, two different set of shooting at Bayside Marketplace last night. Okay people running and scrambling another another situation where a dude got shot in his chest and, and came to Jackson Memorial Hospital just a lot of crazy stuff going on you know you know people out here just being wicked but this is the time of the most high judgment the most high is also judging people in the earth okay the scriptures say whoever whoever died being whoever died being innocent man or where, or where were the righteous cut off you know so hey, these are the times you ought to be seeking the Lord, man. You ought to be seeking the Lord. You know, because right now judgment is going out. You know? Judgment is going out in the earth, man. So you don't wanna you want you don't wanna play around with your life. You ought to be you ought to be seeking the Lord. You know? This is the book of Job. Job chapter 4 and verse 7 It says Remember I pray thee Whoever perish Being innocent Or where were the righteous cut off Verse 48 says Even as I have seen They that plow iniquity And sow wickedness Reap the same By the blast of the most high they perish And by the breath Of his nostrils are they consumed? Okay, so the scripture tell you, whoever, whoever, whoever died, whoever perished, being innocent, man. Okay, we living in a time of the Most High Judgment, man. So hey, you gotta get into this word, man. You gotta seek the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You know, that's what's going on, man. You gotta seek the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know. That's ex that's exactly what it is, man. You got, you got to be seeking the Lord in this day and in this time, man. Okay, else else you else you else you else you'll perish out here, man. As a matter of fact, another scripture come to mind, you know, because the scripture tell you, um, Isaiah chapter fifty-five and verse six: Seek seek the Lord while he may be found; call ye upon him while he is near. Okay. Because it's going to come a time when you're not going to be able to find the man of the Lord out on the street, out on the highway. And the byway is who you usually see. The brothers out there wearing garments and, and have their swords in their hand, their Bibles. And, 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 and prophesying the downfall of Babylon. 
okay? The scripture tell you, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So the prophets are out, man, but it's going to come a time when they're not going to be, uh, be out, all right? The book of Amos chapter 8 and verse 11 says, uh, uh, and there shall be a famine, not a famine of bread nor of thirst, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. So you wouldn't be able to get the words of the Lord. So you have to, you have to stop, you have to stop putting it off. Okay, you got to stop putting it off the day of the Lord. Okay, and make no tyrant to turn to the Lord. Okay, let's get that real quick in the book of um, uh, Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, chapter five. And verse 7. Let's go to that real quick. Alright. It says. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in your security. Thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. Okay. So you have to, uh, you have to, you have to stop putting it off man. The scripture speaks about that too. Woe to them that put off the day of the Lord. Okay? Yeah. So, now is your opportunity to repent. Okay? You you, you in that grace spirit. The Lord has given us a grace spirit. So, you're in the grace spirit. Now is the time that you have liberty to be seeking the Lord. Okay? You have liberty to be seeking the the Lord, you in the grace spirit, okay, the book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19, right, Acts chapter 3 and verse 19, let's get that, it says, repent ye therefore, okay, so that your sins may be blotted out, okay, when the refreshing shall come from our Lord, okay, let's go to it, Acts chapter 3, and verse 19 okay because this is what this is what you should be doing man because the scripture tells you say much tribulation is on its way and you're going to need that hedge, that hedge of protection man the scripture tell you psalms 34 and verse 7 the angel of the lord encampeth round about those that fear him and delivereth them okay why because they fear the lord and the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom Okay, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13 tell you that. Let us hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments, which is the whole duty of mankind. The whole duty of mankind is to fear the Lord. Okay? This is Acts chapter 3 and verse 19 and says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Once again, Acts 3 and 19, Repent! Ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So you should be in the spirit of repenting, man. You see what happened last night? A double shooting. They had a shooting at the Bayside Marketplace, downtown Miami. And then they said one hour after that, another shooting. Same area, same place. You know, that spirit is out there, man. Hey, as a matter of fact, let me get it, man. Let me let me go to that scripture real quick. There, there be spirits that's created for vengeance, man. Okay, let's get that in Ecclesiastes, chapter uh, chapter thirty nine. It is okay. Bear with me here. Let me try to pull that up. Ecclesiastes, chapter thirty nine. I think it's verse. 28. Okay, so these spirits are being stirred up, man. This is this is the time. We're in the time of judgment. Alright, Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach in the Apocrypha. I'm starting at verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Okay? There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they they pour out their wrath. Salakia, so they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And who's the him that made them? The Most High, Yahweh. All right? It says, uh, verse 29, Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. 
teeth of wild beasts and uh, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Okay, what is the sword? Well, the, the modern day sword today is the gun. All right, so you saw all of these shootings going on all over the place. You know, they are shooting in Fort Lauderdale. I saw it on the news. Uh, day before yesterday, one in Opal Locker. It's crazy out here, man. There be spirits created for vengeance. So, like I say, man, you got to walk, walk with the armor of the Most High, man. Put on the armor, you know, of the Lord. The helmet of salvation, man. Get into these scriptures. The scripture tell you, uh, Isaiah 34 and 16, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Okay? No one of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies. They are going forward. Okay? None shall want her mate. Meaning, say, no other book could be compared to this book. For my mouth had commanded and his spirit had gathered them. Okay? So you have to seek out of the book of the Lord and read, man. Revelation chapter 1 and 3 tells you that blesses the man that read and keep those sayings, those things that are, are written therein, the, those prophecies, roughly paraphrasing, that are written therein. Okay? So blesses the man that readeth, man. You know? That's what it is, man. The scripture tell you that um, that um, 2 Timothy chapter, uh, what's that? 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15, uh, 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 the scriptures is able to make you wise unto salvation. And that's what you want, salvation. You want to be delivered. Because there ain't nothing coming about, ain't nothing coming but death, destruction, and deliverance for the ones who, who seek in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? Okay, there's nothing coming but death and destruction. Okay, also deliverance for the people who are repenting and seeking the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the scripture tell you, man, Acts 14 and 22. All right, we can get that real quick. Acts 14 and 22. You know, too much tribulation shall we? Into, into the kingdom Okay Roughly paraphrasing I'm going to grab it real quick Grab that real quick You know because that's what the scriptures tell us man Through much tribulation Right You have a time called Jacob's trouble That's right on our doorstep Literally Began it's just in the, the, the slow stages Okay we got we 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 are we'll talk about it if the spirit allow a little. Um, Acts chapter fourteen and verse twenty two it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high so through much tribulation that's how you're going to enter into the kingdom you're not going to just be raptured away like how you how, how some people is taught in a plantation christianity okay that's the plantation christianity dogma that they that they, that they teach you sometimes that's the slave master's doctrine okay you're not going to just be raptured away all right the scriptures say we're going to be tried tried our silver is tried in the furnace all right, that's Zechariah chapter uh, 13 and verse 8 where it says, And two parts therein, two parts in the land therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be brought through the fire. Okay? So, hey, man, it is what it is. All right? You're not going to just be raptured away like, 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 like they be trying to tell you. That's a false doctrine. Okay, the scriptures say, if the righteous scarcely be saved, you know, where will the sinner and the ungodly appear if the righteous scarcely be saved? So the righteous are going to be scarcely be saved. Let's get that in First Peter. Let's go to the book of First Peter. Let's go to the... Uh, book of first Peter's if this phone will change 
some reason it's giving me a little hard time here. I'm trying to stay multitasking here. Work with me. Work with me here. Let's grab the book of First Peter's chapter 4 and verse 18 but I'll start at 17 okay uh, First Peter's chapter 4 and verse 17 it says for the time has come that judgment see that's what we were talking about at the beginning of the lesson it's the time that we're living in for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high and if it first begin at us what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And here is the point, verse 18, it says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, so the righteous are going to be scarcely saved, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Okay, so the righteous is going to be scarcely saved. So you're not going to be raptured away like these plantation Christianity uh, 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 slave master doctrine uh, modern day Christians be telling you that they, they, they're going to be raptured away. You're not going to just be raptured away. The scriptures say that you're going to be uh, tried as gold is tried in the furnace. Okay? The scriptures say you're going to be tried man. As a matter of fact, let me just go to it. Alright? We can just go to it and get it for edification's sake. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. Let's get that real quick. Right? And it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts, which is 66%. Okay? 66.6. .6. Alright? Two parts shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. So the third part is going to be left therein. The 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 the, the, the thirty three point three percent. And uh verse nine says and I will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call upon my name and I will hear them I will say it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my power, okay? So contrary to what you heard, you're going to be tried, okay? You're going to be tried. How are you going to be tried? Don't they, don't, don't they try to vaccinate you? Ain't they trying to put that poison in you? Eh? Don't they want to give you a vaccination? The Bible speaks about the mark of the beast, Okay? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 going down. And he calls it all, both small and great. Right? Rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark, save that he cannot buy nor sell. Okay? So if you don't take their mark, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. But our faith is in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You know? Adawan Ratazah. We be of that hopeful elect of that precious number that the Lord keep his spirit upon us you know during, during, during um, trying times alright but yeah this is how you're going to be tried okay what what are you going to do you're going to gird up your loins like a man and don't take the mark of the beast which we believe to be through the spirit the RFID microchip the implant okay with this this demon this devil this the wicked is trying to be your God trying to take you away from your, your true power okay Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and, and the wicked want to play your God he want to microchip you so he can make you a perpetual slave forever and the Most High will destroy you for it it's consequences for that it tells you in the book of Revelation chapter 14 and verse 9 okay that you'll be tormented in the presence of the, uh, of, the, of, the of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb Okay, so there's consequences for that. Also, Revelation chapter 16 and verse 2, where it tells you, say, uh, uh, when, they, when, when the angel poured his vial, a gruesome, 
a gruesome uh, 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 saw fell upon all the men that had had the mark of the beast and worshipped his image. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. So it's there, man. All you gotta do is look these things up. Do your due diligence and read for yourself. Okay, that that's the trying times. The Lord say it's gonna come upon the whole world to try them. That's why you have to seek the Lord. Okay, because only the Lord can help you. All right. As a matter of fact, let's get that strip it, that scripture, Revelation chapter three and verse ten. Okay, because only the Lord can save you. All right. But if you're not seeking the Lord, how are you going to be saved? You know, you're not seeking the Lord, you're going to perish. All right. This is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? Once again, cutting that doctrine that you're going to be raptured away. The Lord says it's going to come upon the whole world to try them. But the Lord said, because we have kept the word of his patience, he will always, he'll also keep us from the hour of temptation. Why? Because we kept the word of his patience. Okay? But what about what about people out there who are not keeping the word of his patience or not seeking the Lord? They're going to be tried. Most likely they're going to take that microchip and they're going to be destroyed. Okay? So you're not going to just be raptured away like they've been teaching you. No, you're going to be tried. Okay? As gold is tried. You're going to be tried. All right? That's what it is, man. So you ought to be seeking the Lord, man, because a lot of tribulation is on its way. As we say, hey, Jacob's trouble. The Bible coins a time called Jacob's trouble. Now, who's Jacob? The progenitor or the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob, whose name was later turned to Israel. Okay? Thus, we are the Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are the biblical Israelites, okay? And you have a power. His name is Yahweh, Bahashim, in the name of his begotten son, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, okay? That's our Lord and Savior, okay? So at the end of the day, you have a power, all right? And it's a time called coin Jacob trouble in the Bible. So that's you. It's talking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why do you think they're talking about uh, so-called so-called uh, uh, black and brown people? So-called black and brown people, uh, they, they, they keep pushing adamantly for them to get the vaccination more than anybody else. They keep pushing for our people to get the vaccination. Why? Because they know you're the Israelites. Okay, that's why. They know you're the Israelites. Okay, the scripture tells you, Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33, um, Israel and Judah were oppressed together, and all, the, uh, and all that held them captive, captive held them fast and, and, and didn't let go, roughly paraphrasing. All right? Remember, the 10 tribes came to the Americas long before Christopher Columbus. You can read that in 2 Ezra chapter 13 and verse um, 40. The 10 lost tribes was carried away are captive into Assyria and they took counsel among themselves to go further into another land where they could keep the law, statutes, and commandments which they didn't keep in their own land. Okay, the the Mosai whole uh whole whole stood uh, uh hold still the river for them to go over and they came into a uh, uh through through Aseret, okay, into a new land where mankind never dwelled before, roughly paraphrasing. So the 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 the, 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 the northern kingdom those Israelites, they was in America long before Columbus got here. The southern kingdom came here by way of slavery, okay, uh, uh, by way of slave ships, okay, in shackles and chain. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, who the, the so-called uh, 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 white man, which are the Edomites, they rounded up and brought them here in slave chains, okay, in slave ships, in chains, and put them to work and, and enslaved them for hundreds of years. Okay, so thus going back to the scripture, Jeremiah 50, and, and, and chapter 50 and verse 33, the children of Israel, the northern kingdom, and the children of Judah, the southern kingdom, were oppressed together right here in the land of America. Okay, all that held them captives, hold them fast, and didn't let go. And they ain't let go to this day. Okay, they, they haven't let go to this day. So as a matter of fact, I'm going to get a scripture on that real quick. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. Okay, the book of Exodus, chapter 21, because the, 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 
the book of Baruch 3 and 8 tell you that Baruch 3 and 8 tell you that yet this day we are in our captivity and uh, uh, for our reproach which means uh, a shame or disgrace and subject on the payments that's why we pay so much bills in America okay according to all the iniquities of our fathers okay so we live under the curses because our fathers broke our forefathers broke the covenant okay so yet this day we are in our captivity okay but this is Exodus chapter uh, 21 and verse 16 okay because we still being held captive here and it says he that stealeth a man and selleth him or if he be found in his hand he shall surely be put to death okay let me read it one more time Exodus 21 and verse 16 it says he that stealeth a man and selleth him were, were not we bought sold on the auction box okay slavery that did occur and the thing about it is they still have us in their possession he that stealeth a man and selleth him or if he be found in his hand we're still in his hand he shall surely be put to death so hey it's, it's going to be the, the lord says it's going to be recompense man it's going to be a payback okay and that's just what it is it's, it's, it's right under the scripture man there's no going around it ain't no going around it brothers okay it, it, this that's what the um the scripture also tells you that in um uh revelation chapter 13 and verse 10 he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the faith and the patience of the saints okay so hey it's no going around it man Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no going around it, man. It is what it is, man. All right? So, hey, I reached my destination, man. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. All right? So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm gonna end it there. So, I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory unto Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so all right so until the next time adawan rathaza that is to say lord willing i'm going to say shalom